There was a decidedly different mood on Parliament Hill today, a different tone, a different response by the Prime Minister to the endless questions that have dogged Stephen Harper for months about what he knew when about Senate expense claims and payouts and the move to suspend three senators. This was a day that marked new tactics in question period. The Prime Minister taking every question that was asked about the Senate scandal himself for the first time and without trying to change the subject. Any assertion that I was in any way consulted or had any knowledge of Mr. Duffy's, uh, Mr. Wright's payment to Mr. Duffy is categorically false. But as he spoke, another unknown loomed just down the hall. What are you going to say, Senator Wallen? Are you anxious to address your colleagues? Sure. Senator Pamela Wallen was the one who would speak today. She also brought accusations of personal vendettas and political game playing. But all anyone wanted to know was whether she, too, would level direct accusations at Stephen Harper. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malefsky, begins our coverage tonight. Terry. Well, Peter, Mike Duffy was a hard act to follow, and Pamela Wallen's speech was not as high on the Richter scale. But it was a similar story of betrayal. She says she was a loyal conservative, stabbed in the back to please the party faithful. Like Duffy, Wallen is fighting the government's effort to suspend her from the Senate. And like Duffy, she says she was booted out of the caucus at the Prime Minister's behest. I was just told that they were speaking for the Prime Minister. He wanted me gone. No discussion. She was cut out of the caucus, and again, like Duffy, she says those wielding the knife were Harper's then Senate leader, Marjorie Le Breton, and Ray Novak, now his chief of staff. And like Duffy, she said it's all about pleasing the base. It is also designed to appease the party faithful before a Conservative Party convention at the end of the month. Wallen said the party is trying to pass sentence without having a trial. This whole proceeding against me, plus the leaks and the lack of opportunity and legitimate form in which to defend myself, is backroom politics of a most odious kind. If this place continues to function without even a nod to due process or to the rule of law, then to paraphrase Senator Siegel, eventually you could run out of buses and the people to throw under them. But how exactly do people get thrown under the bus? And who does the throwing? That occupies the opposition in the Commons. On June 5th and 6th, when I asked the Prime Minister whether Ray Novak was involved in the Duffy affair, the Prime Minister said that Nigel Wright acted alone. Was that true? Uh, he did not say Ray Novak was one of those people, Mr. Speaker. He has named those people. He's been very clear, and he's also been very clear, Mr. Speaker, one of those people was not me, because I obviously would never have approved such a scheme. After ducking many questions yesterday, the Prime Minister was more combative today, enough to get his side cheering. Mr. Duffy now says he is a victim because I told him he should repay his expenses. You're darn right, I told him he should. Still, one question he did duck was whether he ordered the Senate maneuvers which caused this week's uproar. Did he order or take part in the motion to have Mike Duffy, Patrick Brazo, and Pamela Wallen suspended from the Senate? Yes or no? I fully support that motion. I do not believe that under the circumstances these individuals should be on the public payroll. I believe that in private life, had they undertaken such actions, they would not continue to be on the public pay payroll, and I believe Canadians feel strongly. <laughs> So it was a better day for the Prime Minister, but it is clear that many of those who agree with him about the Senator's expenses still have doubts about denying them due process. And tomorrow, the Senate will continue to struggle with that, Peter. Well, Terry, the Prime Minister unveils a new strategy today. Answer questions. How's it holding up? Well, clearly it did please his troops, but his critics see a problem with it. Namely, that if he's so against the abuse of expenses, how come the PMO supported Wallen and Duffy even after their expenses came to light? They only decided to be shocked after it turned out that the public was a lot less tolerant, Peter. All right, Terry. Thank you. Terry Malewski.